Technology is making a big difference in the fight against crime. There are now dozens of tracking companies assisting police in the search for stolen items. Meet Bill Taylor, a thief tracker whose company specializes in motorcycle recovery. It's the only place I'm getting a signal. He's close to the end of a very long search, but with backup from the police, he's hoping to recover a stolen motorbike. It's not this in that thing, I've opened it. All being well, they'll catch the bike thieves just when they think they've got away with it. I don't know. Listen, listen, I honestly, listen, I don't know. Listen, listen. But what brought Bill and the police to this location in the first place? Let's rewind a few days. Bill is on his way to Hackney, East London. He's searching for a stolen motorbike worth £16,000. On Friday, a BMW GS1200 Adventure was stolen. We're heading down to a place just off the A10, where we believe the bike's currently parked up at the moment. Around 23,000 motorbikes are stolen each year in the UK. It may be no surprise that half of them are pinched in London. The bike was stolen from a parking bay in Islington, North London, but thankfully it was fitted with a high-tech tracker. The unit's lost GPS, so it could be in a uh, building. Chances are it's going to be in a van. This tracker is advanced. It uses GPS, but if that signal is blocked or fails for any reason, the motorbike can still be tracked via a radio signal. Is this signal that's led Bill to the Hoxton area of the city. He must now comb the streets, seeking out the radio frequency using a handheld tracking wand. So I pray to garages, vans, lockups, anything where a bike could be hidden at the moment. Back at HQ, his colleague Andrew is helping to navigate the maze of streets in the target zone. What I want you to look for on the right hand side. I'm at the end I'm at the end of Weymouth Terrace. Bill finally picks up the tracker's signal. He narrows it down and the bleeps become stronger. Yeah, and just past that there's a big in the background setback is a big block of flat. Oh yeah, bloody hell, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like a car park or covered car park in front. Eventually, leading him to a set of garages. That's quite loud, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. So. That's what we're looking for. I reckon it's behind that door. Time to continue the search on foot, and the cameras are advised to stay in the car to avoid raising suspicion, just in case the thieves are about. A few minutes later, and it looks like Bill might have the result he's after. I've seen this before, so there'll be one big door, and then when you get through that door, there could be 20 to 25 garages. So once I'm in there, I could then pinpoint it down to the right garage. But it's, oh, it's definitely in there. Let's call the police. As the motorbike is on private property, Bill needs police backup to gain access. And once they arrive, they begin a search of the underground car park. The radio signal from the stolen motorbike is strong, but the bike itself is not visible. It's on the side of this wall. The motorbike seems to be in a garage that's locked. Frustrations and unexpected developments like these are all part of the daily grind for trackers like Bill. Unfortunately, there's more bad news to come. Magistrate won't authorise an out-of-hours warrant for a stolen bike. I've... Different forces work different ways, OK. Thank All right, buddy. Cheers. Thank you. There's little Bill can do now but wait and hope that the stolen motorbike is moved so he can pick up its signal afresh. A little bit of frustrating in the minutes. It just takes time. And I know I'm so close to the bike. He's just been able to try and get that last five yards, so to speak. Two days later, and there's a new development. Since we were in location in Hackney on Tuesday, um, we've had a bit of a development where the bike was actually moved late last night. It seems the bike has been moved from the garages overnight, and it's heading east towards Essex. 
Often motorbikes are stolen to order and shipped overseas. Bill needs to act fast in case the bike is sent abroad, perhaps from the docks at Tilbury or Harwich. So this first big no. building on the right? OK. After scouring the streets for half an hour, he narrows down the signal to some stables. So using the OF again, as we did in London, we've managed to well, pick up a signal again. Um, so I'm just going to go out on foot and just see if I can get a, a stronger signal. It's a risky move, as the bike hasn't long been moved, so it's possible the crooks may still be around. It's the only yeah. place I'm getting a signal. Right. So... Listen, you, the only way to, talk, to, 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 to check is to, to be on the ground, um, and obviously you need the police assistance with that. Yeah, no, no. It sounds like it was quite a strong signal, so... As searches of this kind often cross county borders, trackers rely on the assistance of various different constabularies, so the local police are providing backup. I can sort of show you why I think it's there, and we can go from there, really. To avoid trespassing, Bill rides with the officers in their car. He's getting ever closer as the signal pinpoints the stolen bike to a locked container. But the police need a search warrant before they can open it up. While they discuss the next move, the tracker starts up, sending signals to Bill. I think we've got it. It's not this in that thing, I've opened it. It seems the motorbike is on the move again. They need to act quickly. Yeah, I think they're just stuck in the back of a van. I'll call you back. Finally, Bill hits the jackpot. Fantastic. Thank God you had not driven off. And a search of the yard reveals quite a haul. OK, the bike's been recovered in the back of the silver van. We've also found two additional bikes. We've got a BMW, which is confirmed to be stolen. And we've also got a KTM Super Duke, which I don't believe the registration plate is theirs. Um, so we've got an absolute result. This shipping container seems to be a makeshift workshop with an engine, various tools and an assortment of spare parts scattered about. Two of the gang made their escape as the police swooped, but a third wasn't quick enough. we well, have just got in here with that silver van. For who? I suggest it's in your interest to tell us who they are. I don't know. I don't know. Mate, honestly, I don't listen, know. Listen, listen, listen. 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 You're going to have to cut the b otherwise you're well, going to have to cut the b. Well, well, I, mate, I ain't kind of. I don't actually physically know him. I know him from coming and talking to me. Police showed up. Um, I think the police rattled their cages because all of a sudden they decided to start moving the bike. They got the guy's sat nav, so they've got the address of where the bike was in Jeffrey Street. So if that marries up onto the sat nav, then we found out how we got here. Uh, so it's great news, absolutely fantastic result. With the suspect cautioned and the stolen bike recovered, Bill now has the happy job of calling the owner. How are you? All right. Hello, sir. You probably got a phone call last night that um, your bike had been moved. Yes, yes. Um, well, you'll be pleased to hear what I found it. Um, as soon as the police are finished with it, you'll get your bike back. That's brilliant. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think more than all right. <laughs> Eventually, the bikes are collected and taken away for forensic analysis. So, a good day's work for the police and the trackers. Getting more than one bike and a potential ring, this is what I do my job for. Yeah, over the moon. Over the moon. Just want to beat the traffic now. Get ready for a big Friday night here on BBC One. Have I Got News For You is back with none other than Jeremy Clarkson hosting at nine. Then whisking you back to the 70s with an invite to a suburban dinner party in our brand new sitcom, The Kennedys at 9.30. Keeping it in the family now, a mum and daughter and two sisters team up for today's bargain hunt next. <laughs>